I don't think I can tune a spoon. I'm always ready to play in the key of E, A, and T. That's not food. Plus, he smells like fish. Alex drew this schematic for a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. Now, if I just knew what to do with it. Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? I can build anything, as long as it's made out of sand. I think sand is the perfect material for making spaceship parts. But can you make something this complicated? Please, do you realize to whom you are speaking? And that's why they call me Marshall Dune. Thanks. No, thank you, Sam, for reminding me why I got into this business. I might look like a politician, but underneath it all, I'm just a guy who loves sand. Ooh, that's good. I'm going to pass that along to my speechwriter. Not the right part for this guy. I heard you talking. You don't need to hide it from me. Talking to humans hasn't really worked out well for me. Don't worry. I've seen much weirder stuff than talking trees where I'm from. Oh, so I'm a weird thing, huh? A freak? Does that make you want to cut me down, huh? Turn me into a stool, I suppose? No, that's not what I was saying at all. <sighs> I understand why you're mad. Stuck in one place all your life, wanting to see the world? No, that's not what's making me upset. It's all the murderous humans who want to cut us down. Being stuck in one spot is kind of like the whole tree thing, man. Who wouldn't like that? Do all trees talk in this land? Maybe take the time to talk to them before you cut them down, and you'll find out. Do you know anything about fixing spaceships? No, that's a subject that never resonated with me. Oh, good one. <laughs> yeah, tree jokes are the best. I've never cut down a tree in my life. Really? How'd you get your wood? We didn't use wood. My... my mom just knit everything we needed. Well, that's just the sweetest thing I've ever... Wait. What were her knitting needles made of? Plastic. Okay. I think. Have you seen a mad-looking girl in a tattered dress? Oh, please don't mention that demented little urchin to me. It makes me sick to think of how she... made me sick. Why did she make you sick? She coveted my sap. I saw her collect it in a bucket. Oh! Curse my precious fluids and all their magical hardening properties. Ha. <laughs> well, I gotta make like a tree and split. It's supposed to be a banana, but don't worry about it. Tree jokes are hard. I've detected an unusual rock formation on the surface. That's not rock. It's the hardened shell of my sick, summoned from my gut by a banshee in a shredded gown. You don't say. Never seen one of those before. Check out my gyroscopic hypercam. Wow, amazing work. Really good job. Really? I didn't know you were a fan of spaceship parts. I'm not. I just like to praise humans when they make stuff out of anything that's not murdered trees. I'm just going to put this here, okay? Hey, the forest isn't your dumping ground, human. I want to tell these people that I've seen their daughter, but I'm not ready to answer all the questions they'll surely have. Hey, do you know this girl? Oh, God, that face. 
the memories. You're every bit as cruel as her, aren't you? The sap hardened into a perfect, albeit gross-looking, mold for a hypercam. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Would this work as a super conductive yada 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 cam? Well, it might work as a box to hold one in, or as a mold to make one, but not as the part itself, no. I see. Hmm. Sorry, wood shop is closed. No more stools. Come back late. Whoa. Never seen an outfit like that before. Where'd you get it? My mom knit it for me. In space. Right. Hey, I get it. You don't want to reveal your source. Have everybody biting your style next week. Biting my... It's cool. I got my own thing, so... Uh, hi, my name's Shay. Curtis. What are you making there? Art. Forged from metal. I used to work with wood, but, you know, it was getting all trendy, and the tree started talking, and there was no money in it, so I got into metal. How long have you been into metal? Oh, I've been into metal for, like, ever. But my kit just arrived today, so I've been, like, hardcore for about six hours. What are you forging? Well, in fact, you are the lucky one to see my very first... <sighs> collectible die-cast miniature. Oh. What is it? Um... Well, the catalog said it was supposed to be a wizard. But it looks more like a kitten reading a book. Dang it. Did I order the wrong mold? Do you order your molds from a catalog? Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? It's like I'm in a cover band phase. I want to do my own material, like, eventually. Do you have any other molds? I could only afford this one. The idea was to sell a bunch of wizards to buy more molds, but with this stupid cat... I don't know if I'm ever going to get a new mold. What does that big ladder go on your roof? There's a ladder on my roof? More like through your roof. Hmm. Huh. Not sure. But I've got a hunch that Vela had something to do with it. Is Vela a friend of yours? Well, she used to come around here a lot. Had a thing for my stools. Think you could make me a radiation suit? Nah, I don't do soft goods. If you're looking for a good seamstress, though, I'd check out Mariloft. They do amazing stuff with feathers. Uh, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. Well, have fun with the metal. Later, Shader. Hey, Curtis, do you think you could use this as a mold? Hmm. Hey, this is a nice mold. What is this, a candle holder? It's a super... Because candle holders sell like crazy. I can totally use this as a mold if it's a candle holder. It's a super candle holder. Cool. Let's try it out. Hit the road, kitty. Please don't be a cat. Please don't be a cat. That's perfect. 
You think it conducts electricity really well? Well, not that it matters for a candle holder, but based on the metals I'm using, yes. Thanks. Yeah, you take the first one. Fair trade for this awesome mold that is going to make me so rich. Uh, which <clears throat> I only care about because it gives me the freedom to be truer to myself as an artist. Thanks, Curtis. Pleasure doing business. I mean, art with you. <laughs>